Let's talk about why most young men are lost and clueless about what to do in life. So guys, young men, we don't have fa like strong fathers. We're not brought up by elders. We don't have a lot of strong alpha male oriented men in our lives. And there's a big crisis in young men's lives right now. Um, we have a lot of men, obviously you guys know, who are addicted to video games, pornography, uh, social media, you know, they're mama's boys, they live at home, right? They're always dreaming about doing something, they're overthinking, they're worried, they struggle with like vaping, they don't have a sense of like purpose, they don't do anything, they're lazy. Um, so where does this stem from and how do we fix it? So guys, before I begin, I just want to say I'm not acting like I'm better than any of you guys or any of the men that struggle with, you know, the things I'm talking about. In 2018, when I first started getting into self-development, spirituality, religion, philosophy, when I was studying these things, I struggled with all the things I'm talking about. I was always questioning my life, questioning reality, overthinking, um, you know, I wasn't working like that. I was working like 15 hours a week. Right, wasn't really hitting the gym, kind of just like doing my own thing. You know, I was living at home with my parents, right? I was playing video games a good amount, especially during COVID, oh my God. During COVID, man, oh, I played video games like 12 hours a day, like every day, and I was barely working. So I know what it's like to be in that place, especially when you're young, you know, between like maybe ages 16 and 21. You're at the age where you're kind of like a you're like a child, but you're starting to mature and get into early adulthood, right? So knowing that, I think we need some better. Um, we need a we need a better path for men. We need to we need a better um, we need to teach men what they should be focusing on at that age, because I think a lot of guys like there's a lot of needless struggling. Like, like there's a lot of needless suffering that if the proper things were taught and the proper things were addressed, then the suffering and the vices and all the stupid mental problems that we claim we have would just, they wouldn't completely disappear, but you wouldn't see the, the, uh, the, like you wouldn't see all of the, like the, so there's so much of it right now. You wouldn't see all of that right now. You might have a little bit of it. But it seems like you walk around, you're like, damn, every kid plays video games. Every kid plays, uh, every kid's on social media all day. Every kid's struggling with mental health. Every kid doesn't know what they want to do in their life. Every kid, um, you know, struggles with porn. And it's like, why do we not have like, it just seems like, you know, I'm not saying you have to be like perfect and know exactly what you want to do and this and that. But it's like, why do we have so many problems? Like, why do young men have so many problems? And like I said, I, I, I think I know what the reason is, but the thing you wanna realize as a young man is you should be focused on your money and your health, right? And women later on. So all of us want, you know, we want better health, we wanna look good, we wanna feel good. We want money, we want freedom, we wanna have enough money to buy the things we like, to do what we want when we want, and we want love. We wanna be with a woman, we wanna have friends, right? Maybe a family. So I think all men, we want the same things, right? We want health, wealth, and love. So if that's the, if those are the things we want, right? And we're young men, and we know that that's where we're gonna find the most joy with maybe a family or in a relationship. We're gonna find joy in taking care of ourselves from the gym, looking good, running, lifting, eating well, sleeping well. And we're gonna find joy from working on things that give us purpose, right? Then that's what you need to focus on as a young man, right? So if you're between ages 16 and 21, right? That's the, that's the age range. Obviously, you know, there's wiggle room, but primarily 16 to 21, maybe 22, right? You're struggling with mental health. You're struggling with video games. You're struggling with vices, porn. You live in your parents' house. You hate your life. You you don't have a car. Um, no girls like you. you. Maybe you're skinny fat. Maybe you're fat. Um, maybe you smell, right? Like 
you're just a complete loser or maybe you're not a complete loser, but you still struggle with some of those things. You need to understand that you need to focus on your money and your physique and your health and your body, right? And not just one, because I think a lot of guys focus on the gym heavily in high school and college, but we don't really focus on money until we get into like, I feel like our mid twenties. Like that's, that's the sense that I get. Cause think about it, right? When you're in high school, right? Everyone's lifting on the football team or basketball team or whatever. And then when you get into college as a young man, so you enter college around like 19 or whatever, graduate at 23. So from like 19 to 23, let's say you're taught, Hey, go, okay, go get your degree. But if you live on campus, you're most likely not going to, most people don't work when they're on campus. Some do, but when you're on campus, it's like, Hey, like, what are you doing? <laughs> you're going to parties You're going, uh, maybe you sign up for the fraternity or sorority, or maybe you play a sport. So yeah, you're focused on your physique and your degree, but it's like, dude, we have to have a better financial. We have to understand that. Like there's a difference between getting a degree in something that's going to pay you and then, or just going to school to get a bachelor's degree for whatever, right? And I'm not saying you can't be successful with a bachelor's degree, but I think a lot of the, I think we need to focus more on the work aspect. I think we need more men working, right? And it doesn't matter what you do, right? It doesn't matter what you work on, but you need to make money as soon as possible, right? So if you can go to school and work at the same time, do that and focus on the gym, do that. Because here's the thing, when you feel, and I'm not saying you gotta be a workaholic to avoid alone time or boredom, but I will say this, ever since I got here to Florida, I got here, I'm 24, so I've been here three years. So I've been here about three years. When Once I started like working full time and really like uh, focus on, I started focusing on my money, I focused on getting a down payment for a house. Uh, I started, you know, to, like I wanted to start getting promoted at my job and everything. I started getting into investing and things of that nature. A lot of my, like the porn that I was dealing with, the pro that problem like slowly faded away. Cause when I was in high school, I'll tell you this. So from about 2018 to 2020, 20, so high school basically up until the end of COVID. I didn't work, I was barely working. I didn't, I had a car, but I was on campus. I was on, I was in college for like a year and a half. So I actually, no, sorry. I was in college for a year and a half. The first year I was on campus, I didn't work, right? So I wasn't working. I was do, taking like two or three classes a day, right? And I had so much free time. And what was I doing with that free time? I was fucking, I should have been working, right? But I was watching fucking porn, jerking off, uh, doing a bunch of bullshit, right? Just not doing anything, just like existing. <laughs> To put it in bl like blatant terms, right? So during that time period, I wish I was working a little bit more. Even at high school, like I only worked like 15 hours a week. I don't know, actually, I, I, I think you can work, I don't know, I'm in Massachusetts. They say you can't work more than 20 hours a week if you're a student. I don't fucking believe that shit. Um, but yeah, like I really wish I just would have worked more and I was more focused, right? Cause I think a lot of the, I think the vice of porn, you know, for some of you guys it's video games, some of you guys it's weed, whatever, but your vices will start to fade away as you have more goals. Like the more goals you set for yourself, like, hey, let's say like, hey, you're going to school and you're working a job. I mean, it doesn't matter what it is. And you're like going to the gym, bro, you're not gonna have time to sit there and like jerk off or like question your life because you're so busy you're so focused on creating your life that it's like, there's no time to like wallow or be sad or be like wondering like what to do, like, cause you're doing it, right? So I think some guys are good at that, but like for the most part, we don't have a, we, we do a bad job of that at, at, as parents too. Like parents suck. Like, I'm sorry, like, most parents now just suck. The, the father suck and the mother suck. They both suck. Right. And it's like, if we, if we just taught like young men, I mean, women too, but I'm specifically talking about men because men struggle with a lot of like vices that are severe, like pornography. If we t like taught men to like focus on your money, focus on your physique, buy that first car, buy your house or get an apartment, go to school, get your degree in uh, law or 
engineering or, or um, your, your, your medical degree, whatever, so you can get a high paying career or start a business or get a trade. If we taught those fundamentals of financial education, of the importance of saving money, the importance of investing, and the importance of having a good physique, of sleeping well, of work, just work in general, if we taught that, a lot of our stupid mental problems that we deal with, a lot of the stupid shit, the mental health crisis, the fucking medication, medications that we take and all this stupid garbage, right? Questioning what life is and all this craziness that it's like, that's so prominent right now. I think a lot of that would start to fade away over time. But we have so much free time. We're not up to anything. We're not doing anything. And as a result of us filling our time with video games, porn, filling that hole, that, that God, you know, God wants you to work. God wants you to provide. God wants you to be strong. He wants you to be healthy. He wants you to be physically fit, competent, right? Those are the things that men need to embody, especially if, as early as possible, they, they have to start embodying. And I think when you come at it from that angle and you teach those things and men start to move in that direction at a young age, I think a lot of your the addictions start to fade away. I think a lot of the mental health issues start to, they don't, they're just not there anymore because you're so focused. I can't tell you, like, when you're focused on work, when you're always up to something, I'm not saying you got to be frantic about it, but when for the most part, like, you're always on point, you're always on mission, you're always on duty, right? The depressions, the anxiety, the fear, the schizophrenia, the overthinking, the questioning like what life is and uh, what am I, like, just what am I going to do with my life? All that shit starts to go away. Your vices start to go away because you're so focused, right? And the thing you might struggle with is you might just be a little bit tired at the end of the day, right? But I'll tell you this, I'd rather be a little, I'd rather be exhausted at the end of the day than bored out of my mind and crippled with addiction and stupid mental health issues because I'm being lazy and I don't have any orientation or uh, direction, right? So guys, that's where we find our joy. That's where we find our purpose. That's where we find that sense of fulfillment that everyone's talking about, that a lot of these spiritual idiots say, oh, you find it through meditation or you find it through uh, fasting. And I'm not saying those things are, are bad, but that can't be the primary thing. Your primary vocation is, if you have a family, it's take care of your family. It's take care of your health, lift. And then it's work, focus on your career like a dog. And you focus on all those things. And on the back end, if you want to meditate for 20 minutes, you got some extra time. If you want to do a fast once a week, if you want to uh, journal, okay, do that. But as a young man, understand that that's not what you should be focused on fully. Because I think, like I said, a lot of these guys online, spirit, like these spiritual gurus, they teach you to meditate all day, to fast, to, to journal and do this. And it's, there's, like I said, there's nothing wrong with that. But that can't be your main, to the, the totality of your day, the totality of what you do every day. Because that, that was me. Like I was fasting like every day. I was meditating, doing all this, you know, yoga and all this cool spiritual shit, which is fine. Nothing wrong with it. It's, it's good. It actually works. But it can't be like that's what you do every day. Unless, okay, unless you're going to make that your career and you're going to teach that stuff on a daily basis and whatever. All right. But a lot of you guys, I don't think a lot of you guys are trying to be like a Buddha or Eckhart Tolle or an Osho or a Deepak Chopra or a, I don't know, who, who, who else? Ram, he's dead now, but Ram Das. Like, like, no, a lot of you guys, I'm not speaking for you. I don't know. But I, I get the sense that a lot of guys, they want a nice family. They want a nice girlfriend. They want to look good. They want to feel good. They want financial freedom. They want to be able to do what they want when they want, right? So to start getting that at a young age, you got to start focusing on your money and your career and your health. And when you move in that direction, right? And I'm not telling you specifically what to do, but when you move in that direction, a lot of your problems and a lot of your, a lot of the sense of feeling lost, a lot of that goes away. You feel lost because you're bored and you got nothing to do and you have no goals. There you go. You have mental health issues because you're not working hard enough. You have addictions because you have too much free time. Point blank period. And when you fill up your time with work and things of that nature and focused on and you're focused on your health and you're constantly learning, that stuff goes away. It, a lot of it really does go away. So yeah, guys, I really think that's where young men can start to really uh, develop themselves at an early age. And I think I think 
when they come at it from that angle and they start to move in that direction, the mental health issues, the addictions, they start to fade away. And that's where we have a better society. That's where we have more productive members of society. That's when we don't have drug crises and crime rates going crazy. And that's when we have a better culture, a better civilization. So yeah, guys, that's it. That's all. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. And by the way, if you want to download my free ebook, it is in the link in the description. I detail everything that helped me overcome pornography over the past five years. I go from talking about porn blockers to, um, you know, what, whatever else has helped me in the past five years, but it's worth the read. Uh, it's about 16 pages. So if you want to read that, it's in the link down below to download. And I hope to see you guys on the inside. As always, I hope you guys have a good one. Peace.